new friends, new opportunities, new partners, EG Tax. Hi, I'm Esther Golias, the tax lady from EG Tax. We're here during tax season to help you with your tax questions. And it's kind of cool because we have a roving reporter out in the field who meets with people who has questions, really nice people like you. And I have my my uh, right-hand people here, Christopher Fabian, Tiffany oh, Fabian, yeah. my daughter and son-in-law. We are uh, EG Tax uh, from a corporate standpoint, and we love taxes, love helping people, and we know and we know the tax law. So, uh, and we try to explain it so that you understand what's really going on. So that's what this show is all about. We hope you'll stay uh, with us and watch the show and see if a question comes up that you might have. We'll be back on the other side. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in a minute. So you probably know the federal government has restricted your taxes and itemized deductions. Bad news for New Yorkers, but how does the state compensate? All those deductions that are eliminated or restricted on the federal are still deductible on New York State. Complicated? True. A double set of rules? True. But it's a great big benefit when you do your New York State return. EG Tax is your hometown tax team, and we want to work hard for you. This year, come join our family. So you probably know the federal government has restricted your taxes and itemized deductions. Bad news for New Yorkers, but how does the state compensate? All those deductions that are eliminated or restricted on the federal are still deductible on New York State. Complicated? True. A double set of rules? True. But it's a great big benefit when you do your New York State return. EG Tax is your hometown tax team, and we want to work hard for you. This year, come join our family. Honey, we still need to do the last form for our taxes. Okay, I'll start on that next. Are you sure? Look, I just put this together in 10 minutes without the instructions. I don't think so. What starts off easy could end up to be a major complication. There's over 450 tax form changes and thousands of new computations. EG Tax has studied these changes since they passed last year. Our job is to make sure you and your family get the largest tax refund. This year, come join our family. Attention real estate investors. Thinking of buying or selling real estate investment property? Call RJ Gullo Companies, qualified intermediaries for 1031 exchanges and real estate investment specialists at 716-675-1500 or visit them online at rjgullo.com. For a free consultation when buying or selling real estate investment property or to pay no tax through a 1031 exchange, let RJ Gullo Companies put their 40 years of experience to work for you. Call RJ Gullo Companies at 716 675 1500 or visit them online at rjgullo.com. I'm attorney Dennis Kitchen. Now is a good time to look at your finances and your debts. How much debt do you have right now? If you don't know, or if you don't want to know, it may be too much. Isn't it time that you talk to an attorney about a fresh start? I've been helping many people in debt over the years, and I don't charge for an initial consultation about debts. Call for a free consultation. I'm Dennis Kitchen, and I'd like to help. I'm Esther Golias, the tax lady from EG Tax. Ask the tax lady here on WBBZ Tuesdays on BEN on Saturdays from 3 to 4, where you can call in with your live uh, phone and questions. Anytime you have a question, though, you can go to our website at egtax.com. Ask the tax ladies there. We will answer your question. But in the meantime, we have Dominic out in the field, and he's with a nice person. And Dom, what's their question? Hi Esther, I have a question. I want to move to Florida to get out of the snow, but I have two rental houses that are paid for, and I heard that I'd end up paying a ton in taxes. What if I hold the mortgage? Would that help me tax-wise? Okay, so that's a great um, question. So the truth is, if you hold the mortgage, that won't make any difference. You're still selling the houses. And so I'm thinking a good idea would be a real estate exchange for you. That way you can exchange it for property in Florida, because if we back up here, the truth is if you sell those rentals or if you hold the mortgage, that's considered a sale. And then you have to pay all those capital gains on that depreciation. Over time. Yes. Right. Yes. yes. Right. Sure. So, okay, let me kind of build on what she said. It is true if you sell those, those rentals, not only is it going to be a capital gain, but you have to recapture all the depreciation taken on those. So if you paid, let's say, a half a million dollars for the rentals and you sell them for a million 
and you've depreciated them out over 27 and a half years, their basis is zero, and so you're going to have a million dollar yeah. gain, yep. right? Which, you don't have to be a rocket scientist, that costs money. Now, your options then are if you hold the mortgage, it is true that like Tiffany says, you're going to pay taxes on it, but you will pay a little bit a, little bit a year on an installment yeah. sale over the life of the uh, mortgage that you hold, okay? The second option that she alluded to was to do an exchange. Now here comes the part that people don't necessarily like. An exchange only works if you get more investment property yep. in the new area that you're moving to, which I think would be a great idea. I think she brings up a great, uh, great point that if you take your rentals here in Buffalo and do an exchange, which is not hard, we have Russ no. Fellow. Right, right, yep, he's great tool and, to have. And so what basically you have to do is you have to take these rentals in Buffalo and find another piece of investment property in Florida where you're going to, and by, that's not hard to do. And you basically take the, the basis on this, which would be zero, if it is zero, and you move it to this new property, which if it's the same amount of money is gonna be zero, but the whole thing is kind of deferred until you absolutely get rid of it in Florida and you pay zero now. Now, but the only thing is you gotta to want to be a landlord again. Landlord again. Right. Yep. Right. Yep. right, 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 right. Yep. But you can do things like investing in like a, a family dollar. I know that uh, Russ Gullo helps with people that would like to be kind of a more passive investment yep. investor. So you don't have to be that hands-on landlord, but you can actually do the 1031 exchange and get rid of the and, whole game And I think completely. a really good idea is we have so many clients who before they sell a place, they come in and do a consultation and then we'll show them what the capital gains are and they'll go gulp. And, and it's really enlightening. So the truth is, before you sell, before you make a decision on your investment property, sit down and we'll yeah, show you what the capital gains are going to be. If you're selling property in New York State, I mean, right. New York State recognizes a 1031 exchange too. So you're moving it to Florida, uh, you know, there, that's another benefit. But if you have to pay the 20% to the federal, plus New York State, let's say, percent, so you're almost paying 30% on a million dollars, which is $300,000. That should be a pretty big incentive, I right. would think, to look into that. So that's what my suggestion would be. Chris, you got one? No, I mean, I just want to say, you cannot do that yourself. You oh, cannot. No, you can't. You know, I've, we've taken oh, phone, phone calls, calls where people, oh, I have 10 days left. What am I supposed to do? And, and they already have the proceeds. And they took the cash and put it in their own bank account. You can't do that. Yeah. You, need, you need, need the mediator. You right. cannot handle this transaction. And because on a 1031 exchange, you can't take any cash. Right. All the money has to go, it has to be handled by a third party who then moves it over without you touching it. Any money you take is taxable money. Yep. And then why don't we talk about if some pretend like this person wanted to move to Florida and they didn't have a rental. So when, you, when you're a New Yorker or, and you're moved to a different state, make sure that you pay attention. Chris always counsels people about their health insurance. Um, um, also, if you move to a new state, it has to be more than six months and one day. So make sure your voter's registration, you get a new driver's license, any other Well, education? your intent has to be to leave New York. Yeah. Right, right, yeah, right. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Okay, why don't we take... Uh, but, so, but wait, oh, just, what, wait, sorry. Yes, yes. One, you know, you brought up the point. You're leaving New York and you're going to Florida. What's the tax rate in Florida? Zero. Zero. Right. So if you sold and you had a million dollar gain here at 7%, that's $70,000. Right. So maybe you only want to be a landlord for two more years. Right. Because once you're in Florida for That's two years, sneaky. that exchange is, is committed. Right. So now Florida has no tax. Right. You just saved $70,000 by waiting two years. That's correct. So, I mean, that's, that's not to mention the estate taxes and everything. Yep. I mean, plenty. we are in a very heavily taxed area. Yes. We love Buffalo. Very good it point. It is very heavily taxed. Okay, why don't we go back to Dom? We got another question, Mr. Dom? I'm in the process of getting a divorce. My ex is paying me separate maintenance of $1,000 per month and child support of another 1000 If the divorce is final in 2019, how do I claim this income on my 2019 tax return? <laughs> well, this, this is, is this uh, person who should be so thrilled because under the old law, they would have paid taxes mm -hmm. on all that on separate maintenance, right? Um, under the new law, 
that that separate maintenance or alimony is completely tax free to the recipient right and what used to be a deduction to the payer is no longer the case however yes go on you, you want to do the however however that's the federal law due to the divorce between the irs and new york state it is now income on your new york state, state return, return. So, and deductible and deductible by the payer yep. on New York State. Now switching back to the federal law, I have many husbands and wives who pay alimony, and in 2019 they're going to be really sad because that used to be an adjustment to income that they no longer get to incur. So it is what it is. Well, I mean, it's still going to be deductible on pre 2019 right, 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 and alimony. So but not it'll, new ones. But anybody 2019 going forward receiving and paying alimony or separate maintenance, it's no longer deductible or taxable on the federal, federal. but it is deductible and taxable on New York State. So that makes it even more crazy. No, but the, obviously the bigger uh, bite would normally be the federal. I'm going to throw a monkey wrench. You naturally. know me. Yes, naturally. Old law, yep. alimony on the federal, you had to claim as income. Mm -hmm but you were able to put money in an IRA right. because it counted as earned income right. for that purpose. On the new law, is oh, no. alimony going to be able to? I are they think so. I would think not. I would I, think you not. know what I mean? But and, how does it work for New York State then? Well, and since New York kind of has been keeping everything a secret, you really and don't then, know. And I then, mean, then, isn't that what, I mean, this I is don't what. Know. And then the we have, I don't know. And then we have to finish it up, put a bow on it, the child support. Of course, it's not taxable, never has been, so right. that's just a but that, And that doesn't mean that you get to claim the kids either, right? right? right, right because right. Uh, the custodial parent, I mean, really, the custodial parent and the person getting the alimony is really coming out smelling like a rose in this whole thing, yep. right? Uh, and when you take a look at, like, the, the dad is supposed to pay, uh, usually it's the dad, 17% of his income per child, I mean, and he doesn't get to deduct it? Holy moly, it's just... I feel sorry for some of these and dads, you know? Yeah, we just had someone in who oh. thought he was current on his child support. The think. money's coming out of his Social Security. But New York State didn't Social give him... Social Security? Yep. Wow. The New York State didn't give him the um, non-custodial EIC well, because he had a part-time job. Right. I said, well, are you paying your child support on your part-time job, too? He goes, no, I don't have to. I said... Yes, you do. But don't and forget, uh, you sort of stole my thunder. Don't forget New York State has a non-custodial <laughs> EIC. So if you're a low-income dad or a moderately-income dad, you get to possibly claim the non-custodial EIC for the child support. Earned income that, credit, right. Right, non-custodial EIC, which is the earned income credit for uh, the child support you pay as long as it comes through a support collection center and you're current. So that's okay. the credit that you have available I think to we you. beat that horse to death. I'm Esther Gulley, it's the tax lady. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back on the other side. So you probably know the federal government has restricted your taxes and itemized deductions. Bad news for New Yorkers, but how does the state compensate? All those deductions that are eliminated or restricted on the federal are still deductible on New York State. Complicated? True. A double set of rules? True. But it's a great big benefit when you do your New York State return. EG Tax is your hometown tax team, and we want to work hard for you. This year, come join our family. Ever notice how people are always changing their hairstyles and colors? Some are better than others, but, but all, all of them, them take time, time to get used to. to. Well, taxes are like that too. It seems like Congress can't keep the same tax laws in place long enough for us to get used to it. And this year is really no exception. There's over 450 tax form changes and thousands of new computations. This change affects everyone. This year, come join our family. Why is it when we think of our family, we always do what's best for them? Like when there's a problem with your kid's teeth, you call the orthodontist. Problem with the car, call the mechanic. So why with the largest tax law change in decades, would you even think about preparing your own tax return yourself? A mistake could cost you thousands. EG Tax has studied these tax law changes since their inception. We're gonna work hard to make sure you get the biggest refund possible. This year, come join our family. 
Attention real estate investors. Thinking of buying or selling real estate investment property? Call RJ Gullo Companies, qualified intermediaries for 1031 exchanges and real estate investment specialists at 716-675-1500 or visit them online at rjgullo.com. For a free consultation when buying or selling real estate investment property or to pay no tax through a 1031 exchange, let RJ Gullo Companies put their 40 years of experience to work for you. Call RJ Gullo Companies at 716-675-1500 or visit them online at rjgullo.com. I'm attorney Dennis Kitchen. Now is a good time to look at your finances and your debts. How much debt do you have right now? If you don't know, or if you don't want to know, it may be too much. Isn't it time that you talk to an attorney about a fresh start? I've been helping many people in debt over the years and I don't charge for an initial consultation about debts. Call for a free consultation. I'm Dennis Kitchen, and I'd like to help. I'm Esther Golias, the tax lady from EG Tax. We're talking taxes. It's tax season, and I got my two uh, best guys here, Chris Fabian, Tiffany Fabian, my daughter and son-in-law, and we all are collectively managing and helping you from EG Tax. We have 30 area offices to serve you. Uh, and if you have any questions during the week, you can call us at our corporate headquarters, email us through our website at egtax.com, or you can call any of, the, uh, uh, of our branch offices and talk to a real person because we want to help you. Okay, and we have our roving reporter out in the field, Dominic. Who do we have this time? I have a small business, but it is a C corporation. The net profit in 2017 was only $25,000. And this year it should be approximately the same or slightly more. What can I do under tax reform to help my tax situation? Okay, so we have somebody with a C Corp. Yep. All right, well, let's first start off and explain what C Corps are. Every corporation that starts, starts off as a C Corp. Correct. Right? Yep. Then the IRS and this, uh, allows you to make an election to be taxed as an S Corp, which is a small business corporation. Okay, a C Corporation. All of the net profit is taxed by, and, and the corporation pays the taxes, right? And if you are a shareholder, you get a dividend, and that dividend's taxed again. That's why they always say C-Corps are double taxed, right? Right. But if you make the election on a 2553 to become an S-Corp, then the bottom line of the S-Corp passes through to your personal return as tax once. Yay. So that's why... For most people, it is a blessing to be an S-Corp. Right. Many times corporations are set up by accountants because they like to do the fiscal, fiscal. year, short years, and all that. And so they make them C-Corps, but it actually is a bad thing. And if you're listening and you have a C-Corp, you need to call us well, because you, you want to think revisit. maybe you should be an S-Corp. All right. So... The, the, so the double whammy in this situation is this person has a low net profit C Corp. Why should they be concerned? Uh, well, and Chris, I know you can chew this up a lot better, but I'll start. And so under the new law, uh, under tax reform, corporations now, C Corps, have a flat tax of 21%. And so this corporation is a low earner. And so their tax for that C Corp would have been around 10%. 10 percent but Last now year. they're up to 21 percent uh that's not so good so, so they're they paying 11 percent increase right. and so that's really really bad plus they, double taxation plus double, plus double taxation so they above anybody should make that election to be an s corp so that they're not hit with that new flat c corp rate of 21 percent which will help a lot of people It'll help C corps that make a lot of money. That'll be beneficial for them. So, so they made this big thing about how they cut the tax rate. Mm -hmm. Well, they did cut the tax rate on big ones, but on little ones, they actually are paying more taxes. Yep. Yeah. It's you know, and you know, we see this is this gentleman happens to have a profit. What about losses? You know, how many C corps do we see that have losses? And they're carrying forward for, all those losses. Yep. That go nowhere yep. until they close the business right. or they make a profit. Right. So they're We're, suspended. Right. Right. So, I mean, the bottom line is if you have a C Corp, not an 1120S, but an 1120, you really need 
please a second opinion. I don't care. You, go to, you don't have to go to us, but I'm going to tell you something. You could be substantially overpaying. And actually, they liberalized who can become an 1120S, subchapter S corporation, because a lot of the uh, rules for inventory, they said you now can be cash basis. Uh, so, uh, so that's another thing in the tax reform. So please, and then get a second if opinion. If you have an S corp, you have to take a, a reasonable salary. Well, even on a C corp, yeah, you have to be. You have to way. take a salary right. because the, if you take money out, then you're paying dividends. Right. But then, if you're not paying yourself, they're going to say, "Wait, you still have to pay right. yourself." So absolutely. Okay, Don. We got anything else here? I've been receiving alimony for five years now, but every year I owe the IRS in New York a ton of money. What can I do to cut down the tax bill I get? I just can't seem to get out from under the tax man. Well, I mean, we were talking about that from the, the first part of the show uh, about alimony. Well, it, it's I obviously agree. a pre-2019 divorce because it was taxable, so it's going to stay back taxable. To me, what you really need to do is get out from under. Wait. You, yes, I'm yes. Sorry. She can go back to court and request that the alimony going forward yeah, does not count as income. But they'd have to... But they could, I mean, this is where right. the lawyers could That's say, true. instead <laughs> of getting 10000 a month, I'll take 8000 a month. Right. So, so he gets a he still gets a break because he may not be able to deduct it, but right. he's paying less. She doesn't have to claim it as income. So going forward, you can do that. But be I very careful because just because if you did negotiate like that, because going forward it wouldn't be taxable but if you did have it modified. One thing she could do <laughs> is she could put money into a traditional IRA every year, right. and that would be an adjustment to income. So this lady who owes every year because of the alimony, she could. Well, she needs to do estimates too. Yes. She needs to do estimates, so she prepays it. Right. If she can't get a, ahead of the, the ball game, I would suggest she even do a home equity or some type of loan to get current so she can and do that. And then don't forget, if she has children and her alimony isn't that high, she should get a job because then she'd get the earned income credit, which is huge, That's huge, correct. huge. That's so correct. if she was somebody who's getting alimony and she doesn't make a lot of money, just go get a small job, even if it's babysitting, cleaning houses, a small job, you'll get this nice, big, big huge earned income credit right. on if, the federal and the, and the right. state return. Right. So right. get a job. But the, <laughs> I mean, you always say get that. A job. Get a That's job. That's true. Even That's around true. Christmas time. Right. Or after right. Christmas. All right. So, um, so the bottom line here is... Uh, alimony going forward, if you have it modified, it's not going to be taxable. So what, like Chris is saying, sometimes n the art of the deal would be, I'm going to give you a little less, but it's not going to be taxable, and so we're modifying it because it's a win-win. But would she, it has to be so it makes economic sense. Remember, right. if you're giving up $2,000 in a year, it's 2,000 real dollars, and if she's in the 10% bracket, she's saving 200, you know, $200 in taxes where, you know, he's saving right, 2,000 right. That's real where dollars. You got it. So you got to really put a pencil to it, right? Yep. Um, okay, so right now, uh, we, we don't want to get into something this late in the show because you can see that taxes are so confusing and in-depth, and there's so many angles to them. But they simplified it. Uh, now, oh, speaking of that, you know, if you have taken a look at the new form, President Trump, the art of the deal kind of guy, he mm -hmm. really wanted that postcard, and so page one is the postcard. However, you got to attach page two, three, four, five, and six schedule to make six. it work, plus all the schedules. So uh, it's like page one and two are little, but it, and it used to be there was a 1040A and the 1040 easy. those are now gone. Yeah, it's like that magic trick with the scarf that just keeps coming and yep. coming. It's, that's the tax return. That's true. It, the, what they said was going to be simplification has not been simplification. There's a lot of things in the tax law that will save you money. Uh, the child tax credit that's so much larger, the family credit, which is brand new, the pass-through deductions, liberalization of depreciation. I mean, there's a ton of things in there uh, that you really want to take a look at. Of course, and then the big thing is, and New York State says, we're not playing your game. You may have said these things aren't deductible on the federal. We say they're all deductible on New York State. So, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, right now, let's see. If you have questions, they can call any of our branch offices. Yep, yep, yep. You can call any of our branch offices. You can always go five, call 716-566-11EG. 
click egtax.com. You can call our corporate office and we can send you to any of the branch offices. And of course, offices. if you want a, a refund, uh, an advance on your tax refund, we can loan you the money. We work with third party banks if you need that. Anything anybody does, we do, but EG Tax is at least 100%, 50% cheaper than everybody else. Our fees are half of what uh, our national competition is, and we have a wonderful guarantee, and we're right here locally for you. So uh, what we're gonna do is take a short break, and we'll be back on the other side, and um, see you in a minute. Ever notice how people are always changing their hairstyles and colors? Some are better than others, but, but all, all of them, them take, take time, time to get, get used, used to. to. Well, taxes are like that too. It seems like Congress can't keep the same tax laws in place long enough for us to get used to it. And this year is really no exception. There's over 450 tax form changes and thousands of new computations. This change affects everyone. This year, come join our family. Why is it when we think of our family, we always do what's best for them? Like when there's a problem with your kid's teeth, you call the orthodontist. Problem with the car? Call the mechanic. So why with the largest tax law change in decades would you even think about preparing your own tax return yourself? A mistake could cost you thousands. EG Tax has studied these tax law changes since their inception. We're going to work hard to make sure you get the biggest refund possible this year. Come join our family. Attention real estate investors. Thinking of buying or selling real estate investment property? Call RJ Gullo Companies, qualified intermediaries for 1031 exchanges and real estate investment specialists at 716-675-1500 or visit them online at rjgullo.com. For a free consultation when buying or selling real estate investment property or to pay no tax through a 1031 exchange, let RJ Gullo Companies put their 40 years of experience to work for you. Call RJ Gullo Companies at 716-675 1500 or visit them online at rjgullo.com. I'm attorney Dennis Kitchen. Now is a good time to look at your finances and your debts. How much debt do you have right now? If you don't know, or if you don't want to know, it may be too much. Isn't it time that you talk to an attorney about a fresh start? I've been helping many people in debt over the years, and I don't charge for an initial consultation about debts. Call for a free consultation. I'm Dennis Kitchen, and I'd like to help. I'm Esther Golius, the tax lady from EG Tax. This is Ask the Tax Lady. We uh, we weekly at, on Tuesdays are here on WBBZ with our roving reporter answering your tax questions. During the week, though, if you want to be part of our radio show, we're on WBEN from 3 to 4 on Saturdays with live phone-in calls, and you can join us that way. Or if during the week you're stumped, you're having a dinner party, and people are saying, I bet you this is tax deductible, you say, I know what we can do. You can go on our website, Ask the Tax Lady, and email us, we'll answer you right away. Or you can pick up the phone and call any of our 30 branch offices, because we want to help you. And so, until next week, I'm Esther Gullius with Tiffany Fabian, Christopher Fabian. We hope you have a wonderful week. We hope you use EG Tax. We'll see you next week.